So we're here today with Lena Cantus. And Lena, what do you do for the company? I work as a product specialist and my office is in Sweden. Oh, wonderful. Well, you've come a ways to yes. be with us today. Oh, that's great. Now, we've been working with the new software and you did some beautiful pillows here. Would you explain a little bit about the function that you use for them? Of course I will. Yeah. Uh, here I have used a little clipboard and we have created beautiful embroidery design using the Express Design Wizard. Okay. Uh, I used the trace function and I used a small hoop like 10 by 10 centimeters. Okay, so really small. Yes. Yeah. And then I wanted to make a large pillow using this design so we created, well I thought it would be better to hoop it three times okay. with a large hoop. Yeah. 360 by 200. So what I did was bringing this design in the encore on the line okay. where I calculated four motifs would be perfect for this size so I combined that and then I also used the endless function okay. to get alignment stitches and I put two rows together and I hooked it like this and uh, to get a good look of this simple design, I also used a little bit thick thread, like 30 weight. What a great idea for the 30 weight thread, and it's just beautiful. It's, it's Yeah, I really, really love, love it. it. Yeah, exactly. That's wonderful. And the alignment stitches made it really easy. Exactly. Okay. Well, in this pillow, you did a little bit uh, more, a few more uh, different designs. Now, would you explain about like the little arrows here on the edge? Yes. Okay. This is another geometric clip art. Okay, and so I it's use this one piece yes. right here. Okay. I use the Express Design Wizard to create a fill pattern yeah. on this clip art. Oh, that's and it great. turns out beautiful with the outlines and everything. Yeah, that was wonderful. And you were explaining a little bit more about like these pieces over here, these round ones. Yes. Yeah, and how that's these that's are different. Yeah, 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 that's great. And I did that in two really steps. Neat. So yeah. I first started off with creating a fill pattern. Okay. on a geometric clip art. Yeah. Then I did also in another step create an applique with a nice, as you can see, a beautiful fabric here. Yeah. Yeah. What I did with the first design was to bring it into editor, okay. uh, not, I mean the edit tab, yeah. and then I took out some of the colors. Yeah. So that's why I left out some areas here that could show off the fabric. Behind. Right, right. And it's beautiful fabric. Is that a leather? It's a satin. It's a satin. Oh, wow. It's just beautiful. It uh, adds so much. And you could have done this in Stitch Editor as well as could, the Edit yes. tab. Yeah, so either way you can do that. Oh, that's wonderful, Lena. Well, thank you for sharing and your tip about the 30 weight thread and being able to do applique. That's uh, yes. very exciting. Yes. Thanks a lot. Thank you.